Hi, welcome back to SolidWorks uh, and in Introduction to Engineering Design, IT41. Uh, you'll see up on my screen what I've got placed here is my first piece of my puzzle, the first of five pieces. That's piece number one. Uh, we just finished showing how we did that layout, so let's go ahead and start another one, uh, another drawing, except this time we're going to do the drawing of the assembly. So we'll go File, New, Drawing. Again, I'm going to come down and I'm going to pick my, uh, my IED folder. I'm going to come to my C drive, IED 41, IED templates, and there it is. Select that. And now I've got my sheet. The next thing it will do, it's going to ask me, well, what do I want to place onto my, uh, onto my view of my sheet? So let's come over here to my view layout, model view, browse to where my cube is, and this time I'm going to pick my assembly. I'll go ahead and open my assembly. I'm going to put the front view on it. And I could put a top view and a right view. Now you're going to notice something a little bit odd here when I come off to the side and I drop that. You'll notice that those aren't very worthwhile drawings. You can see they just are kind of a lot, awful lot of lines. And if I click on view the hidden lines, it becomes even more confusing. But if I come up here and I select to pick and I pick colors, then what you're going to see is a little bit different. And now you can see that it's a little bit more meaningful on what the puzzle layout is. So let's do this one in color. Again, I'm going to change my, uh, scaling here to fit everything into the into the diagram. So let me pull this one over, pull it all down, and I'm not going to give any dimensions on this. And the reason I'm not going to give any dimensions is because this is an assembly drawing. It really just shows how the puzzle goes together. So we'll save that view, and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and name this sheet. So let's go into the sheet. And I showed you a way to name it before by looking at the properties. This time, we're going to name it by clicking twice on the name. And I'll just call this Puzzle Assembly. And that will show up down here into my view as I update it. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. Again, in the same folder as my Puzzle Cube model was. Now that I've done that, and I'm not real sure why my drawing didn't update here. It did there. I've got Puzzle Assembly, and what I want to do is I'm going to add another sheet. So what I've done is I've come over here into my, into my tree, and I've right-clicked. I'm going to select Add a Sheet. See where my cursor is here. And I'm going to add a sheet of the same assembly. So that's important to note that we're adding a sheet of the same part or assembly. We're not adding a different assembly drawing in here. And this time what I'm going to do is I want to add in here. I'm going to go into View My Layout. And I'm going to add in here and browse to my assembly. And I want to open that. One of the things I want to do here, though, you can see that I've got con different configurations. And I want to show this in an exploded state. So you see I've got my explosion view in there. Let me go ahead and drop that in there. And what I actually can do is uh, go ahead and click on my check mark here. Come back and click on my assembly. And now I'm going to show that in Exploded View. And you go, eh, it doesn't show much, does it? No, you're right, it isn't very good. So let's do a different view of my Exploded View. I'm going to get rid of that view. Except this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Model View, Browse to my part, click on my assembly, open it. This time I'm going to do an isometric view. So I'm going to click the isometric view tab and drop that in. In my display state, I want to show it in an exploded state. That'll be a little bit clearer. We'll select it with lines. 
and this is a real nice view of how my puzzle goes together. Now if I want to change the scale on it, which I do because it is a little bit big, I'm going to go ahead and click on that scale, use custom scale, and go 1 to 2. I got a nice view of that. Now in this sheet, what I'm going to go ahead and name it as, is I'm going to call this Exploded View. So I'll right click, change the properties, call it Exploded View. There it is. So now we've got two sheets in this drawing set. I've got a puzzle assembly and an Exploded View. go. So it's the same drawing, same drawing name because I've named it actually my, uh, I've named it by my file name, but I've got uh, two different uh, views in here. Exploded view, sheet one of two and sheet two of two. We'll go back and let's save this again and we'll save it as the assembly. Now to activate the different sheets, all that you really have to do is to right click on it and activate and then you go to that view. Right click on exploded, activate it, you go to the exploded view. So that's how we make our assembly view and our exploded view as two sheets in one drawing. We've saved it and we'll print that. Let's talk about how we do that here very briefly. To print our drawing, click on file, print, and then select the appropriate printer. I happen to have this Canon printer set up here. Uh, I'm going to print to a PDF just to give you a, a, a rough idea of what you want to do. If you have a multi-sheet drawing, select Print All Sheets. If you have a single sheet drawing, all sheets will only be that one sheet. So let's go ahead and do that, and we can take a look and see what it looks like here real quick. I'll save this back up into my same folder on my desktop for the IED41 Puzzle Cube. And then we'll take a quick look at what it looks like as a PDF. And here's my drawing file as a PDF. All right, that was making a drawing out of your puzzle cube for your portfolio. Thanks for watching.